Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to -na 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 -na. I did the rotation the wrong way -na 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 -na. We're back in timber borners uh, Right, I hope you're loving the new intro, I certainly am <laughs> <laughs> uh, so last time in our amazing beaver city, uh, we constructed this, a dam. No, it's not a dam, it's the opposite of a dam. Uh, we constructed this, a canal. And uh, we started filling this, like, long lake. I like to call it Lake, Lake Long is the name. I might dynamite it into the strongest shape, potentially. Um, but for now, it's just, it's just called Lake Long. And we were slowly building this end. So we got to delete that path. Delete this triple platform. And if we come down into here, landscaping, we can plop a triple floodgate. We rotate it. Oh no, not, not yet, Matt. Not yet. We need to delete that levee. And then water's coming out this end, which is good. But uh, we want them to build that. And we're actually going to lower the floodgates as well. I think we want this to be low so this end doesn't flood. Because uh, basically we've got like a tiered thing going on. We're going to have like a three tier canal. Sort of like a lock. Lock long, we'll call it. Not lake long, lock long. So at this end, we're just building adjustable floodgates. And then we're currently building something here. What are we building there? So here we're just building a normal dam. So you can see there's, can you see there's like a gap in there? Oh, look, you can see my beavers building in the background. Good work. So yeah, this will, this will sort of allow this area to be max level. And then the water will overspill there, come down to here. And then we've got floodgates here that we can sort of raise and lower at will. Actually, I'm not entirely sure why i did a dam there i think they should be floodgates yeah tell you what we're gonna delete all that and we're gonna put floodgates back in all right so we've got triple floodgates along there and then to get across i'm thinking we do a bridge the only trouble is with a bridge i'm not sure if they can build from the bridge now there's only one way to find out but we'll do it right behind like that so hopefully they'll build that and then they can build the floodgates off of it but no idea if it actually works like that we will have to find out uh, meanwhile while that's all being built we are very close i think we've actually done it we got 3207 science now this has been like my aim for quite a long time yeah, and that's to build a super bridge so if we head down here into paths and structures uh, we have a range of things we can build we've got like platforms and bridges but we want this one the six by one suspension bridge it's the most expensive bridge you can research but it's going to allow us to span a huge area so let's unlock that yes please Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we've got one. You can see like how long it is. Um, my sort of aim is either to do it from here over to there or from there over to there. I'll probably do both. Um, but this is going to take some planning because I'm not entirely sure like where to start. I really want it to be symmetrical about the middle. So I think to start, we'll just sort of work out the height. So I think that side and that side are the same height. So if we were to go from there. <laughs> Look at that. That lines up there, is it? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's going to be like one of those bridge meeting in the middle disasters where it doesn't quite work. Um, but yeah, looking at that, I don't think it's going to work out exactly. So I think I want it to go from there. So if we delete that, if I put a platform there, how high does this platform want to be? I think Is that the right height or is that one higher? I think that's the right height. And then can I do my bridge from the platform? Yes, I can. Okay, but I think I need another platform to do a bridge going back the other way. Yeah, I do. So we'll do another platform, you think. And then a bridge. I can't believe we're building this this early on. Like that. Oh, yes. That's going to be awesome. Okay, so I just need to do the same on this side. So if we delete that one, and then we just want a tour bridge. So that one there. And then we're going to have to demolish some potatoes. If we look straight down, it's that one. So we'll come down to here, demolish buildings and resources. And we'll say, get rid of that. High priority. Oh, and the one next to it. Yes, and the one next to it. I forgot. And then over this side to connect things up, we're going to need a district gate because this is the YouTube member side. So if we put our gate there, then we should just be able to path like that. So that ends sorted. Uh, why has no one destroyed that? All right. I think it's because I have everything on high price. Oh, no, there you go. They've gone now. They've gone now. All right. So now those have been dug up. We can put our platform thing in. So we do two triples and two doubles. Oh, bollocks. Why have I done it there? <laughs> I did it in the wrong place. Wow, that was that was really stupid of me. Maybe I'll just edit that out. No one has to know. No one has to know. But because we're putting a platform in the water now, we're actually going to need two triples. So triple and a triple. Oh, this side's way higher because... Oh my god. What is with me today? I know it's early, Matt. But come on, use your brain, man. All right, so to get that at the same height, do we just want a double? Yeah, double looks good. Um, Although it's actually looking a bit wrong, isn't it? I think it's too close. 
balls. There's got to be back one. Okay, so it looks like we can't do a symmetrical bridge, which is actually a massive shame. Or maybe we can. Maybe we can. We'll just... We'll make the gap a bit longer. So we'll delete that. And we're actually going to dynamite this. So dynamite there, please. Um, they can't get to that at the moment. So they're going to need a staircase to get up. So if we bung a platform there. And we'll do steps up. One there, one there. And then steps up there. And then we'll just connect it all with a path. All right, and then we'll delete this one. And then we can build where we initially planned to build. I think we'll just do two twos. Because that is the right height. And then big ass bridge there. Lovely. And then a little piddly bridge there. Right, and that is quite a cool bridge. Oh man, that's actually a really cool angle. I cannot wait to see that. Oh look, look who's grown up. Engineer Matt. We've grown up. Oh, and another Matt has grown up. Matt Crosskey as well. So Matt Crosskey, you are a lumberjack. Very good work. An engineer, Matt. Oh, you're also a lumberjack. The two Matts are working together. They're team Matts. Oh, and also I've noticed there's an architect with an MIT engineering degree who's grown up. <laughs> um, how are you using your degree? You're a farmer and you're picking carrots. And you know what? I think that's punishment enough. I'm not going to put you in the shame cage. Um, and if you haven't been following, the shame cage... <laughs> <laughs> is this. We've got three very, very ungrateful Patreons. We've got Bridges Suck, The Real Architect, and the name that I can no longer say. These guys have embarrassed engineering, and hence they are set to live out their lives in the wheel of shame. And the best thing is, I'm not even using the power they're creating. Their lives are literally pointless. It is beautiful. Uh, but right, I think things are looking pretty good. We've got our mega structure bridge being built. We've got, oh look, so they've built this little bridge down here. I wonder, can they build? It looks like they can reach the triple floodgate now because uh, that's not out of range. Um, I might put a path in though, just so they can get to it a bit easier. If we come into paths, if we just go like, I actually, actually, I had master plan, didn't I? I wanted to maximize our growing area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put platforms along there and then path on top. Right, down this end of Lock Long, we can finally do the last bit of floodgating. So we'll delete the platform, delete that levee, and then bung a triple floodgate on top. Nice, so this end is done. So we can raise those gates when we want to raise the level here. We just need to wait for this bit to be done. And nice, nice, okay. All right, but down in our YouTube member area, you can see here we have one unemployed beaver. So what do we want to focus on down here? They, they're they pretty good for food. They're pretty good for everything, to be honest. I wonder whether it would be worth building them some water storage. Let's build those two. Then they can store a bit more water. All right, and it was Mon38. He was our newly grown not beaver that didn't have a job uh, we could probably use some more storage up here as well shall we build that as well now we've got another beaver so another small warehouse aft up lovely cool so youtube members they're they're pretty happy they know what they're doing uh, they've also been building the platforms as well so uh, nice work guys uh, oh and look our dynamite is complete so let's blow that up i love pressing this button ready three two one all right, so now we should be able to plonk our two-way bridge in. Yes. And then they'll start building it. And I think they should just be able to work along whilst building that. All right, so meanwhile over here, you can see we've now covered up our canal, which is pretty cool. Maybe I should do that the whole way up. Like put stairs in there, maybe? Could be cool. Could be a good thing to do. Could be terrible. Not entirely sure yet. Uh, but once they've built this platform and path around there, I want to click on this and see how far will that extend. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to extend far enough. Well, they're actually... Who's that? Oh, yes. And look, did you see that one? So they are actually building this dam from the bridge. Excellent. That's just what I wanted. Uh, meanwhile, I feel like it might be worth sort of planting some of this area up. I know we don't have any jobs open yet, but I feel like we need more wood. Um, but before we do that, I've noticed we've got 11 homeless beavers. Is that just our YouTube members? We click on here, the Patreons. Yeah, so the Patreons, they have plenty of houses. Uh, YouTube members, they're, they're all homeless. Sorry, YouTube members, you're, you're staying homeless for now. We've got bigger priorities. So to expand our wood production, I reckon up here, Engineer Matt the Forester. I think he, is he on top? I don't know. Maybe he's planting over there, actually. There's actually no work on that one. Maybe that's why we're not producing enough logs. They're just all empty. 
Yeah, so actually looking at it, I think we've I think we've got enough wood. We just need more people to cut wood because there's so many maples about. There's like maples for days. So what I've done, I've just gone through and just made sure there's people in the logging post. So they're all full up. This one up here, Joseph Topanko, uh, he's now in that one. So I think we should be chopping some more wood down now. Um, I feel like my food's a little bit low. So what I might do with this huge area we've now got. So in food, we haven't unlocked it yet, but we can unlock this, a grist mill and a bakery. So that will allow us to eat bread uh, as long as we plant a load of wheat. So maybe up here, if we choose to put a farmhouse down, so maybe we plop that in that corner. That looks pretty good. And then we'll say plant a load of wheat. So maybe that can be our wheat field. I don't really know like how big it needs to be. Maybe we can go all out. Uh, the only downside is I've just noticed for the grist mill, we're going to need power. Uh, and ideally, I sort of I wanted to do I wanted to do that up here. So what I might have to do is make this canal thing a little bit wider. Maybe put a water wheel in it. The trouble is, I'm going to assume if it goes wider, the water level will drop even more, particularly if we don't go wider from up here. So I'm not too sure what the best way of doing this is. I might try just, yeah, I might try. All right, this could be sneaky. I might try and just put like a little porty bit in. So if we say demolish trees and buildings, get rid of these trees. I don't I don't want these trees. They're annoying me. And we'll even use this, the high priority tool, which we've barely touched on. But we can select all of that. Oh, look at the light. And they're all super high priority. So the first job of all of our builders will be come and dig those up. Uh, then we can come into landscaping and we can lay some dynamite down. So what I'm thinking, if we explode like that much and then maybe where that tree is as well. That should be good. Let's just speed up time. Come on, beavers. Look at them all. Good work, guys. All right, so let's get another stick of dynamite in there. Let's use the old prioritize tool again. Come build these people. We've got 23 dynamite, so that shouldn't take too long. There they are. They got the boxes of dynamite. And the last one. Who's that? You're so slow. Omka. <laughs> Why are you so slow just waddling with the dynamite? All right, so they're in. Let's detonate these. Boosh, 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 boosh. All right, so let's just see how the water reacts. So as expected, it's sort of rushing down this side and it's pretty still in there. If we come into our power, we can build a water wheel. You can see that sort of spans both things. So hopefully that should just take the power and be fine. Tell you what, I actually want to detonate one more because I get two wheels in here. Oh, and oh God, we've got the warning to say... In three days time, there's going to be a dry season, uh, which sort of ruins all of this stuff. But, uh, <laughs> oh, well, right, let's detonate that. Let's detonate this one. Now, if we come to power water wheel, we should be able to fit two of these in. So we can get one there and one there. Nice. So if we come back to food, we've got our grist mill. Cost 180 science points to unlock. Uh, we got 800 again. So, yep, we'll unlock that. And if we plonk that there and we'll unlock the bakery as well 160 science yes and the bakery we'll put there and then we'll just connect them both up with a path we'll probably delete those paths put a platform there and we'll just path up like that sorted question how much power does that need it needs 60 hp and these produce 180 okay that's a bit overkill i wish there was like batteries to store power for like the dry season but anyway nice in our farmhouse we've got buzzfly and down under thunder that's definitely an Aussie name. Uh, we're going to prioritize wheat and planting. And you see, they are busy planting away. Then pretty much once they're grown, they're going to be out of a job. Oh, and I tell you what, actually, it might be worth, rather than having a platform there. Hang on, let's delete that. Let's delete that. If we put a dam there instead, then that should hold some water back in the dry season. And then I probably want to do the same down here with that piece as well. We'll have to see how that works. Uh, however, shite, the drought has started. Ah, panic. <laughs> All right. Oh, and up here, look, they've built the two power wheels and the power shafts. So we can get them building the grist mill again. Uh, but right, I'm a little bit worried water could be an issue. Because uh, at the moment, all of our water is sort of spilling out of here. So this was our storage area. What I might want to do, I might want to put an adjustable floodgate here. Like a little, the smallest one you've got. So then as soon as it becomes the dry season, I can literally just lift that up. Because uh, that won't flood because this end is lower. And about the moment, we're basically just wasting all of our water. So it's all coming down here and uh, not being used. So that's not very clever. Uh, still, it is what it is for now. We're just going to have to... Oh god, yeah. So this this canal has dried up. Oh no! 
Oh dear, this wheat could be in trouble, Alex. <laughs> How long does wheat last? It will dry out in 0.5 days. Oh, well, that was a waste of time. That was a complete waste of time. Use that, sat in their ass. Buzzfly, yeah. Waste of time, mate. I think we're going to pause you. <laughs> oh, what a waste that was. All right, I'll tell you what then. That one, rather than being a dam, I think that needs to be adjustable floodgate as well. Just a one wayer. And then we can at least raise that to stop water spilling out. Oh, and annoyingly, it looks like they can't build bloody... They can't build the dam. So it's in building range, but it looks like they can't build off of a bridge. So as cool as that looks, that was a complete and utter waste of time. So if we delete that suspension bridge, then we can build some platforms. So if we do platforms like that, we know they can build off platforms. We'll just do that across. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Uh, meanwhile, we can we can try and keep this green down here. So you can see the water level is dropping. But uh, we got some spare water, so we can drop that. Oh god, no water came out. The water's already dropped. Drop again to one and a half. A nice tidal surge down here. Oh, a bit of flooding. A little bit of flooding. But I do really like how the water works in this game. It's cool. Let's hope we don't let too much through and flood the YouTube members. But uh, it looks like just about the right amount. You can see this end just filling up there. And we can just raise those again before the flood happens too much. Lovely. So that will keep our YouTube members in business. And uh, you can see we've got six unemployed beavers. So if we click on like a district, they say the YouTube members, we can see four of them are unemployed there. If we click on this one, the other two are over here. So we probably want to pause all these things that use water power because there's no water coming through for a long time. I can see we're completely out of gears, so I might come up here. What, what's the power like up here? We're, we've got way more supply, so I might turn on a gear workshop. So Ace Rob has gone in there. He'll make some gears. Uh, otherwise, it might just be worth getting the hauling post back up and running. So there's our three unemployed people. And should I... I feel like maybe I should start turning these back on. I know it's the dry season. I probably shouldn't be doing this in the dry season. But uh, I want more beavers. That is not enough beavers. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of beaver there, but uh, it's not quite enough. I want more. I always want more. Uh, meanwhile, the YouTube district. Oh, look at them all. They're all sleeping out in the rough. You've got James Lee, Chris Roy. Who's over here sleeping on their own? Cody. <laughs> Why are you sleeping on your own, mate? Everyone's down here. Who's up there? Mr. Resource, Mon38, and TN. He's only two. What have you been born into? Oh, I've also realized, I think... I think the way that like the building range works is beavers can build off a bridge if they're building another bridge because it touches there but they can't like build these platforms so we're gonna have to do some like temporary scaffolding just to build the platforms up um so what's the best way of doing it? it's probably coming from over this way isn't it so let's put a temporary path in sort of thinking if we do platforms over to there we need to get to that level, I think, to be able to build that one. So if we do that block there, we'll do stairs like that. Unfortunately, those potatoes, we're going to have to dig them up. So I'll give them a chance to actually harvest them. Then they're not going to, are they? They're not going to. Oh, yes, they are. They're harvesting, right? So once they've been harvested, we can say dig it up. There you go. It's gone. It is gone. So we can do a triple and a single. And then if we path on there, they should then be able to build everything from that i hope maybe potentially uh we had we had a few deaths though during that so logan scrauf and zach now uh, they're both generation 2.0s they died james lee also died now we've had a load of births oh man it's all kicking off uh, hang on what's this architects over engine it right what are you doing you no no you're not picking berries that job is far too good for you turn on the power wheel the gatherer flag you're being paused oh and i've just noticed this area has gone brown so we need to lower the floodgates so we'll lower it oh no no water came out we'll lower it again 1.5 that's not good we've still got like nearly four days left but yes the satisfying rejuvenation is in progress all right architects over engineers is in the power wheel now you will spend the rest of your days in the power wheel generating power for no reason shame 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 <laughs> oh it never gets old never gets old shaming architects uh, it looks like we're massively low on planks they can't build all these platforms so i've just sacked ace rob from the gear workshop and he's now just making planks yeah i'm pretty sure the skills are transferable so that that should be fine shylock you are a forester here and you only plant berries um i'm not too sure your job's worthwhile you know so i'm gonna sack you for a bit we're going to put you to work hauling so you can join these guys. Right, so down here is like fantastic. Like 
it stays so green. So maybe we could expand some sort of growing down there. <laughs> that really wasn't the best location. Uh, but they have built that dam piece now. That's pretty good. Let's plonk a path on top as well. Uh, how are these two buildings coming along? So the bakery has everything apart from planks. Where we've just we just fixed that. There's more planks being made. Uh, the grist mill has everything except for one gear. How many gears have we got? Ah, oh, bollocks. All right, we're going to have to turn the gear workshop on just to make one gear. So Ace Rob. <laughs> Sorry, mate. You're, uh, you're back in the gear workshop. Make one gear, please. All right, I think he's made a gear. He's made a gear. So we can pause that and you can go back into the lumber mill. <laughs> yes, we've made the grist mill. Uh, but we have no power, as you can see, because the water's run out. Oh, look, and this is done as well. The bakery. So I'm going to keep both of those paused for now. But Oh, shit. <laughs> the water. Right, we've got to lower this again. We're down to one. Oh, so satisfying, though. Um, my aim is sort of when we get down to like the last half, I'll turn these pumps off. Um, oh, bollocks. That might be now because I've just realized this top has run. Okay. Okay. We are turning off all of these water pumps and we're going to lower this another half. Let some more water out. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not good. <laughs> I'll tell you what it might be worth doing. We got 43 dynamite. I might make this top lake a little bit deeper just so we can store more water. I think that would be quite useful. So let's go into landscaping and dynamite and uh, let's lace this thing up. Right, we'll make sure they've got a way down. So we'll do stairs down there and down there. But uh, that's a lot of dynamite. That might be more than 43 dynamite. <laughs> Still, every little helps. Every little helps. Uh, oh, no, <laughs> that's just reminded me. So you can see here, the major has died of old age. For some reason, in an earlier episode, I referred to him as the mayor. Um... Y's and J's, they're very similar. They're very similar letters. I got confused. I apologize. I got confused. And um, oh, meanwhile, bloody hell. So down in our YouTube member area, we've got six unemployed beavers. That's insane. So what we're going to do down here, we're going to take advantage of all this food. So we're going to unpause the farmhouse. So Mr. Resource and Killer 230, they have gone in there. Um, I think as well, we can probably stop bringing food over because from this place, the distribution post, we are taking food to the YouTube members. Uh, I'm not entirely sure they need it. I think they're self-sufficient in food now. So let's pause the food. We'll keep the logs on the planks and everything else going. Uh, we're going to up the builders. So TN and Chris Roy have joined Mon and Cody. Because uh, we're going to do some building. We are going to build a forester hut. We're going to plonk that there. We're going to path up to it. And we're going to path over here as well. And we're going to build another log pile back here. Probably there. And a couple of lumberjack flags. And then we're going to say plant all of this area. So plant trees. And we want maples. Because uh, we're trying to we're trying to go self-sufficient with the YouTube members. And ideally sort of help out. So if we can provide more logs... Uh, that's all good. Right, it's the end of the dry season. The water is coming back. A uh, little bit worried about our dynamite down here. Does it work underwater? I think it. I think it'll be okay. They've only actually placed one thing of dynamite, <laughs> which is a bit lazy. But I think that's because they were busy building the stairs. Yeah, they're trying to build those. So fair play, it's not their fault. Uh, there's two unemployed beavers in this district. So as water's about to come flooding through. Let's turn on these again. We've got the lumber mill on. We'll turn the shredder on. And we'll turn these four water pumps on. And then I think we might pour some science. I don't think science is worth doing in the meantime. So you lot are all going to have some new jobs. So one of you is going to be a gear workshopper. Down under thunder, that is. Everyone else has gone in these jobs. So yeah, planks are being made. And then otherwise, it's just a case of making sure the lumber mills are full. And I think they are now. So if we want to get water back down this side, because I want to put people in here. So we're going to put farmers back in there. And to make the ground green again, we're going to have to raise the floodgates up to two and a half. And if we just speed up, you can see as the water rises, it should go down there. Lovely. And then... These will go back on. They're replanting that. That dam's doing its job now. Oh shit, it nearly flooded. It's okay. It is all okay. We're back in business. We've got floodgate at the end. What if we lift that up? Does that flood anything? Oh yes, it floods everything. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa, okay. So that's pretty powerful. 
I can't believe I did that. You gotta be careful with this floodgate. That's sort of for emergencies only. Uh, when the dry season hits and this sort of runs out, that's when we'll do that. Same with this one. So yeah, we got those guys in there doing that. That's gonna take 10 days for those to grow. But once they're grown, we can then put people in these two things. Uh, but for now, I think that's all good. Oh, look. So how is this coming along? They're building the triple floodgate. It's just taking planks now. Nice. Oh, I'm back in the YouTube members. We've got two lumberjacks doing nothing. So prisoner 108. <laughs> you're not a prisoner. You're a beaver. And Rajar. We haven't actually told them to cut down anything. So we should probably do that. So cut trees. We need to mark up all of these, basically. So now they're not just waiting for things to grow. They're actually going to cut down these trees. So that's good. That is all good. Oh, and look. This floodgate's finished. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that means finally we can leave that on two and a half. Yes. And then over this end where we've got the water spilling out the end, we can now raise this up to two and a half as well. And that will allow Lock Long to fill up with more water and then we'll have an adjustable way to get water down here so basically we'll just be adjusting these ones to let water down like for example if we come down to zero that gets some water going through i think we'll fill up like this so we'll raise this one up two and a half and then if we fast forward we should see this water level start to rise ish it's a bit slow it's a bit sl is there water coming out there is water coming out it's just taking a while that was a whole evening and it's barely raised, if I'm honest. Um, but reservoirs, they will they will take quite a long time in the season to uh, fill up. So I think that's high enough for now. We can do this one up to 2.5. And then lock long should start filling up. And then, oh, bollocks. Why is, why is it flooded down here? Oh, that was the max level. That's why I didn't fill up, because it was all topping down. They don't really miss that. I, I, am not, I am not very smart. But yeah, then I'll probably want to get the YouTube members to sort of keep their base over this side, because then they can pump water from down here, and we should have an almost infinite supply to give them. Yeah, and then we can look at mining this as well, the old ruin. So that's expanding well. Oh, God, hang on. I've been where I've been fast forwarding for so long, trying to watch this fill up. Loads of stuff has been happening. So we've got nine unemployed beavers. Two of them are YouTube members. So let's open this farm. So Livcott and our bunkie have gone in there. And then YouTube members are sorted for now. All right, and over here we've got seven unemployed beavers. Uh, so I'm sort of thinking maybe one can go up here. I think we need another lumberjack. So let's build a lumberjack flag there. I might do another one over here as well. And then we'll start planting these up for more trees. We'll just go all the way around the edge. All right, that'll keep you busy, Engineer Matt. <laughs> I gotta do that end strip. That was that was really bugging my OCD, that was. All right, so that's all planted. And that's gonna take well, another like five days or so. So we may as well pause that farmhouse. And we've got even more beavers. So let's unpause the hauling post. Let's get some stuff moving. So we've filled that with nine people now. Look at all these lovely, lovely haul. Hang on, who's that? RC looks like an architect. Right. Oh, seriously. There's not even a wheel of shame left. Hang on. I can't be having that, though. I cannot be having that. I tell you what. Nukin in the Krukin. I feel like you've done your punishment. I am going to pause you. I'm basically playing roulette here. I feel like it's the quickest way. Just pause and then unpause. And as soon as RCE looks like an architect appears, we'll go again. So I'll see you in like 10 minutes, probably, when this game of chance finally works out for me. Yes, he's finally in. <laughs> Right, so holding post back up to the top. So in the morning, when all of our beavers come out of their lovely barrack. Look at that. That is a hell of a barrack. But look at them all coming out. It's amazing. And then we can head over to here. The real architect. Bridges suck. Architects over engineers. And RC looks like an architect. It's surprising that these guys have all chosen to support me on Patreon. But um, <laughs> but you, you have brought shame to the beaver community. Uh, oh, and look, they're finally building the big bridge. Um, but that's that's a hell of a cliffhanger that we're going to leave on for next time. We're going to have to wait till the next episode to see how the incredible bridge looks. I am super excited. But uh, peace, love, and incompleted bridges, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.